Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we are talking about the verb ganar and the words gana. Eh? Ganar, ganas, gana. Mm. So, vamos a hablar de todo en la segunda parte. So, Cynthia, what's going on with the verb ganar? It has lots of uses in Spanish, doesn't it? It does. Well, this is a suggestion from uh, somebody who posted in the comments, and I said we would do a video about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to divide this into four sections. Mm -hmm. So the first one would be uh, talking about the verb ganar. Okay, so what's ganar? To win. Or to, to gain. To yeah. win or to, to gain or to earn as ah, well. Yeah. Also, yeah. So, for example, to win. Eh, gan, ganamos el partido. Ganar un partido, ganar la lotería. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a typical one. Okay, ganar, to win. Eh, ganar un premio. Okay, ganar, to earn. Mm. So, no gano mucho en mi trabajo. Mm -hmm. Ganar un sueldo, yeah? mm -hmm. a salary, earn. Ganar dinero, to earn money. Mm. Um, and ganar, to gain. Mm. Uh, for example, ganar espacio, uh -huh. you'll gain some space. Um, ganar eh, peso, to gain weight. Or yeah, to ganar put on, peso, sí. Ganar mm -hmm. peso, uh -huh. yeah? Okay, so that would be the verb ganar. Would yeah. you use that verb, you know what the expression would say, I, I need to gain respect. Ganar respeto. Ganar, respeto. ganar tiempo, mm -hmm. to gain some time, yeah. for example. Um, okay, so that, that's the verb ganar. Mm -hmm. And now we move on to ganas, which is not um, a verb, it's a noun, okay, ganas. And ganas, you don't have the word I mean, you do have the word, but you don't use it the same way we use it in Spanish. No. So, ganas um, is like an urge to do something, okay? So, or a desire or a craving, um, an urge, yeah? Yeah. Or hunger for something. We might, like. we might use the, the word fancy, a fancy... Yeah, so depending on the context of the sentence, you'd use different verbs, but uh -huh. that's... That's the, the feeling for it, like, like you want to do something, you have this urge inside of you that uh, pushes you to do something, okay? Mm. Either positive or negative or neutral, okay? So, for example, you can have uh, ganas de reír. And it tends to be followed by de, yeah? Yeah, in, in, in this case, ganas de, yeah? Ganas de reír. Yeah, sort of like... A Desire, desire to I, laugh. I, I really felt like, you know, I feel like laughing. Feel or like laughing. Ganas de llorar. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel crying. Like crying. Yeah, I have the urge to cry. Or ganas de vomitar. Mm -hmm. I feel like being sick. Or uh -huh. I want, I want to be sick. We would say. Yeah. So it depends. In English, it changes quite a lot depending on on yes. the, the, the the act. Yes, but in all, it's like this feeling inside of you that makes you either laugh or cry or vomit anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, ganas de ir al baño to go to the loo <laughs> go need. to the toilet we would use need, need. Yeah. and it goes with the verb tener yes yes so that's that would be yes tener typically tener ganas de I have an urge to do something tengo ganas de llorar tengo ganas de mm, escribir un libro mm -hmm. to write a, a book tengo ganas de ok so you conjugate the verb tener and then ganas de yeah Very and sometimes impressive. it's not followed by de because you can just say no tengo ganas mm -hmm. or tengo muchas ganas mm -hmm. without anything else and that just i really fancy no yeah. tengo ganas i don't I, I can't be bothered yeah well in those cases obviously the the verb is implicit in, in the no tengo ganas and then obviously de salir or something that we've talked yeah. about before yeah quieres salir no no tengo ganas no tengo ganas de, de salir, salir. Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so with ganas, apart from tener de, which I, uh, tener ganas de, which was section number three, what Gordon mm -hmm. pushed it forward. Ah, okay. um, ganas. So 
Hacer algo con ganas. Hacer algo con ganas. Mm -hmm. How would you say that? To do, to do something like willingly yeah. with, a, with a bit of oomph. Yeah, with a bit of passion. A bit of passion. Something. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 Um, for example, if I say, échale ganas, échale ganas a la vida. Wey. <laughs> Wey. <laughs> échale ganas. Mm -hmm. What would that be? It, we would say like, you know, give it your best shot, put your back into it, yeah. uh, give it a bit of welly. Yeah, we would say, throw it some... Urge, some desire, desire to throw it, some yeah? desire on it, yeah. Um, a good one. Quedarse con las ganas. Quedarse con las ganas. Mm. Is that to be left, kind of left wanting to do something? Yes, it's when we use it when you should have done or you could have done something, but you didn't. And now you're left with that desire thinking, I should have done that and I didn't do it. So... Te quedas con las ganas. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. for example, I could say, eh, cuando fui a Londres, eh, me quedé con las ganas de subir al London Eye, por ejemplo. Okay. So, I should have done that. I didn't do it. And now I'm left with this urge, <laughs> this so, desire, unfulfilled desire. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, when you say, no te quedes con las ganas. No te quedes con las ganas it's like, would be... You regret it. Do it because you, like, you do regret it. not having done it. Exactly. No te quedes con las ganas. Don't withhold that desire. So yeah. do it. Yeah. Don't be left wanting. Exactly. Don't be left wanting. And then eh, estar sin ganas mm. o estar desganado. What would that be? Estar sin ganas, it's like just not having any any motivation. Yeah, not, not wanting like, to do anything. When you're a bit apathetic, it's like yeah, no, I don't I don't want to do anything. Yeah. Sometimes it refers to not being hungry, like you know when somebody's ill, and you, we say oh está un poco desganado. Uh -huh. Sometimes it means it doesn't want to eat yeah. or, or do much. You know, yeah. when you're ill, for example, we might say he's not he's not up for anything. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then we had tener ganas de, which is what we talked about before. And the last one would be gana in singular. So not ganas, but gana, right? And um, really there are, I mean, there could be more, but I could only think of two situations. And one would be when we say no me da la gana, no me da la gana, mm. which means I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, mm, that sentence is a bit. Mm, it's abrupt, harsh. isn't it? It's abrupt. <laughs> it's abrupt. Yeah. Uh -huh. You would use it when you're angry. No me da la gana. Sí. ¿Por qué no lo haces? ¿Por qué no me da Porque la gana? Porque no me da la gana. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What would be the translation in English? Because I don't want to do that. Could be. Yeah. It's because, uh, um, how would we say that? I don't know. There's no way I'm doing it. I'm not going to yeah, do it. but it sounds a bit direct. Yeah? yeah. Like, no me da la gana. You could say things like, okay, no so we, quiero, we or no say, me apetece. Uh, in where I come from, we'd say, because I can't be asked. I can't be asked. There you are. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. And the other gana uh, one would be um, hacer algo de buena gana mm. o de mala gana. Yeah. So, hacer algo de buena gana is to do something willingly. Mm -hmm. You want to do it, and I'm yeah. happy about doing it. Hacerlo de mala gana is to do something unwillingly. Like, I didn't want to do this, and I have to do this. Yeah. So, that's de mala gana. I feel like forced to do it. For I'm forced yes. to do this. E exactly. De mala gana. And this would be um, the summary for ganar, ganas y gana. We talked about this uh, a little bit more in depth mm -hmm. uh, in the socios section. So if you're interested um, and you like this topic, we talked more the, uh, there. And there's also a test about oh, yeah. ganar, ganas, and gana uh -huh. uh, for the socios mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Y para terminar, Cindia, mm -hmm. vamos a ir a Inglaterra en, en un par de semanas, ¿no? Sí. Tú tienes muchas ganas de, de ir. Tengo muchas ganas de ir y esta vez no me voy a quedar con las ganas y voy a comerme un buen curry. Un buen curry. Sí. Sí. Eso es. Vamos a South Shields 
Entonces estamos muy cerca de Ocean Road. Y si conoces South Shield, sabes que en Ocean Road hay algo como 30 restaurantes de, eh, hindúes. Sí, es, es, es la calle de, de los takeaways y sí, sí. restaurantes, ¿no? Sí, se llama, en, en, en South Shield se llama Asian Road, no Ocean Road, porque... Sí. Tiene sentido. Entonces, Muy bien. Pues muchas gracias, Gordon. Gracias a ti, Cindia, por preparar la información. Nada, un placer. Bueno, entonces, ahora nos vamos. Sí, nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.